You know, the, the fundamental soul of Yes was started when Rick, uh, John, Steve, Chris and Alan started it off and then it kind of became that, that thing which uh, was so influential in the entire music scene. Oh, we're a bunch of old rockers. Well, I'm actually really looking forward to what is now called the Apollo. And the first show I ever saw when I moved to London from South Africa was Hammersmith Odeon. So we passed it the other day and I just got cold shivers. I thought, my yeah. goodness. I do, I've got very fond memories of the Odeon. I've played it many times and like Trev. It's, it's, it's a good iconic rock, rock, proper rock venue. For me, there were only ever really two like that, there was the Rainbow at Finsbury Park. Oh, which right, is, Seven which, Sisters Road. Right? Yeah, which is now a, which is now a, 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 a cult church of some sort. Of you kidding? Now. That's gone. Oh my and goodness! The Rainbow, the Rainbow, and Hammersmith Odeon were the two special yeah. special places to play. I mean, the only killer for Hammersmith Odeon is parking. Yeah, bloody nightmare! Oh, yeah. it is parking round the back. So. I do believe it or not, we're all hooligans, but we do get our romantic moments, and this is a piece that I wrote for my wife. I enjoyed playing House with Odeon. We did a few nights there, and one night there, were, uh, there was a power failure. So I did about a 45 minute stand up thing in the dark oh, with one spotlight, which was great fun. I loved wow. it. Uh, and then paid the penalty because I got fined for going into oh, you told overtime. Me this. Yeah, yeah. And I said, no, uh, the only reason I did it was because the, all the lights went out. And Brian Lane, who's still our manager now, said, yeah. Yeah, they had the electricity back on in five minutes, and you carried on for another 40 minutes. I went, oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs>